Hey there, I'm Chunk Trafficander here with another Flip Normals exclusive tutorial series. This time we're going to be checking out a complete workflow for this 3D prop. Prop development can be a deceivingly difficult and laborious process involving modeling, unwrapping, texturing, and possibly even rendering, depending on your needs. I don't know about you, but that's a lot for me to remember. As well, what actually goes into each one of those stages if we were to further break them down. The aim of this series is to fill in those exact gaps. Let's deep dive into the 3D prop pipeline and see what it takes to go from a simple reference sheet to a fully realized 3D model all kitted up with high quality textures and portfolio renders. To kick off this series, we will start our modeling from a provided reference sheet which will help us block out the overall design of our prop using non-destructive techniques and modifiers. Once we've developed our model, the next critical stage we will need to master is how we can efficiently unwrap it to maximize our texturing. We will cover the full UV unwrapping process, learning several techniques to simplify such a complex topic. Our third stage will really allow us to test out our unwraps as we begin developing the surfaces of these materials in Substance Painter. We're going to cover the development of four different materials as well as looking at how we can use layering to unify these materials for a more cohesive look. Finally, it is time for us to present our work for the world to see. We will bring our textures back into Blender and set up a flexible cycles render so that you can show both friends and employers what you're made of. This course is aimed at 3D artists that want to get deeper into using Blender as well as Substance Painter. So while many of the general 3D concepts will be the same across modeling applications, just be aware that there will be a bit more of a stricter focus on Blender specific methods of achieving these goals, which you might not be able to easily replicate using other modeling packages. If you are a 3D Blender artist looking to beef up your fundamental understanding of the complete 3D prop workflow, this is a great place to start. I'm looking forward to our time together over the next four hours, and I will see you in the first episode.